What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was against a random matchup against Exclusive Nation. Uh, as you can see, they, they ran up the board and do what they do over there. So I guess good for them in their own strange way. And I'm not really going to focus on what EN did. I'm just going to focus on kind of some shortcomings that, that uh, 2.0 hit during this war. And some things that are very uh, not like, not 2.0 style, that's for sure. Uh, first thing off the bat, uh, 110 did not get two start. So that is not in typical 2.0 fashion. Usually you got no problems cleaning up uh, the twos at least on the tens. And then quite a few nines got missed as well. So another thing that 2.0 definitely doesn't usually let happen. They generally have no problem clearing all the nines. So had had some struggles and some frustrations uh, throughout this, I know. Some near misses. Uh, but as with any war, there were some really nice attacks in here to show. So uh, we're just going to jump right into the replays, and I just kind of want to focus on the attacks here and not really anything else um, that's unfortunate about these kind of wars. Uh, so let's just move right into number 17, Nightmare. Always impressing. <clears throat> Had a pretty cool attack here. Uh, brings uh, Govaho. Not your... Typical base that you'd think to do a Govaho on, uh, but he brings the double jump, and what I'm finding out more and more and more is, especially against these anti-three stars, double jump is super effective. Um, it is very, very difficult. You know, I was talking with Iron Wolf a bit about defending double jump, and it's hard. <laughs> you know, it's really hard to, to, to see, okay, well, if they can jump on this side and then drop another jump on this side, well, I mean, how do you how do you defend that? So, <clears throat> anyhow, uh, Nightmare really exposes that that aspect, gets his Valks going in. They're just going to jump right in the side here and then continue on. CC troops are taken care of. He still has a Golem in there doing tanking, sends in the King behind. He really wanted that CC to be dead before the Valks go in, because uh, I know I found out the hard way many times. If there's a Balloon that gets a shot or two off on your Valks, they are in serious trouble. The Balloons just wreck them. Dragons don't, you know... <laughs> aren't very nice to them as well so he great patience on that so his king goes in defensive queens down uh everything's just doing work he kind of sends in the hog sprinkles in uh, surgical from the outside here uh great job doesn't have any heals left for them but he doesn't need them uh really he he's only got two four five six defenses left uh, i believe he does hit a bomb here which kind of is the end of him because he's got all these skeletons on him i don't think he finishes off that archer tower and hits another bomb on the other side uh but these hogs survive just long enough to get over to this archer tower plus he's got his king over there beating on a wall at full health at least one i think two valkyries up starts his cleanup whiz on the outside gets a goblin even going on going down there he's got another whiz at six uh, things are looking pretty good. Even though this cannon is still alive, this king and these Valks, once they make their way around there, you still got a minute, full minute left, and they're about to break through that wall. Yeah, two Valkyries, nice. Uh, that's just too much tanking for one cannon. So he's just got to get up there. It's really a time concern at this point, and he's got two more Valks over here still. Uh, <laughs> so Nightmare, really nice attack. Uh, manage to keep those Valks alive and when you do that it doesn't matter if all your hogs die because you know I've I've myself have had a three star where your hogs all get nailed at the end but you still have a handful of Valks in your heroes and it's enough to to do the cleanup with with defenses alive so awesome job nightmare fantastic attack like how you brought in the three there all right so moving down the chains a little bit uh really like number 22 here ritzy boy uh, number 35 stepping up to hit 22. Uh, what I really liked about this attack was just how sexy this queen walk he does works out. He's going to drop the queen down here. A few healers. Uh, he's, he drops the funnel whiz to push the queen up in this direction. But really she's just going to start taking the, the, the bait of, of this open section. And really these two air defenses become extremely exposed because of that. So she's going to step in uh start start taking out this first air defense and then he's going to send in the other prong of his attack here so notice he's brought what i li liked about this was he brings four valks and a cold-blooded entry with only two lava hounds so not your most conventional army comp uh but ritzy just breaks this down fan just beautifully because he's really going to get this whole section with his queen uh 
and that's just huge value in itself. He gets the CC troops, which is great too. So he poisons CC troops. Uh, a witch comes out and some Valks and some minions. So it actually is super easy for her to take that out. All she's got left is the witch now. And she goes down. CC troops taken care of. He's about to take that other air defense down. And he sends in his cold-blooded entry. Sends in... It, I think it was four or five wizards uh, just to create his funnel. He drops the jump spell, drops his king, and drops the four Valks. Really, his goal is to take out the defensive queen now and that third air defense. And once that happens, look what he's got left. Two Lava Hounds, ten balloons for this small section of base. And realistically, there's only... If he spreads his loons out here, he's only got one line of defenses to get through before he goes right to that air defense. So, Gritzy looking fantastic at this point of the raid. Does just what I just talked about. Few balloons right in behind. All these defenses are going to go down at the same time, basically. And everything's just going to start moving across this base. Still has his Valks in there doing work. His Queen Walk is continuing on. This is what I love. Like She basically makes it around the whole base, almost. Still going. She's taking out defenses. Doesn't matter. She's at full health. Couple more loons in on the backside here. The only concerning area now is this crossbow and quad Teslas. But he's got two haste spells to push these balloons right in and through that. Just a beautiful attack, Ritz. I love how you broke this one down. Like, look at your Queen Walk go. What kind of value did she get this raid, I wonder? I wonder, wonder what her actual overall damage percentage was that she did all on her own. Because very, very impressive. 25 Queen helps. I can't wait till mine's 25. Uh, but Ritzy just killed it, man. We're on cleanup. Just balloons everywhere. Pups everywhere. Queen just having her way with everything. Ritzy boy with a three. Nice job, man. All right. Moving down number 25. <clears throat> Mal. If you guys need a lesson in Gola Loon, Malfunction is your, is your guy because he just, almost any base he can do this to. It doesn't matter how you set it up. He figures out the way to do it. So right now, he's going to go in shattered. Drops his heroes, gets a funnel going, drops the jump, so sends the golems in. King in behind. So he really wants to get the defensive queen here and this and this air defense. Now, what I loved about this attack is, at least for myself, I know as a general rule, I always try and have one extra Lava Hound for remaining air defenses. Mal doesn't care about that. <laughs> He's got three Lava Hounds for three air defenses. Now, again, only because he studied this base so much, he realizes there isn't a lot of pathing to get to these air defenses. So they're going to go down super fast, right? Like these loons had one defense to get through and then bam, they're right on top. Same thing with down here. Like look at how exposed this air defense is. You'll find out in a second there's a quad Tesla in here, but it doesn't matter. If you drop some balloons back, I don't know if you guys see my mouse there by this gold mine. If you drop a balloon right there, it's going to go straight at that air defense. Teslas are not. So if you get a Lava Hound in there tanking the Teslas, you can drop two balloons in behind that air defense. Boom, there go the two balloons, and look, they go right to that air defense. Perfect timing. Quad Teslas, doesn't matter. Balloons are right on top of that air D. It goes down. Few Teslas left in a mortar. Look at all the pups. His queen's at full health with her ability. Two cleanup whiz that he just dropped now on this side. Still has a poison spell. Has swag poison that he didn't need. Awesome attack, Mal. I love watching your Gola loons. You just pick them and pick these bases apart. It doesn't matter what it doesn't matter what these guys do, it seems. You, you're still just effective with it. So we're in cleanup now. Going to fast forward a little bit. Good job, Mal. Three in the bag. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, so moving down to 26. Just one more. I uh, love showing Click Clacks attacks. He had actually a six-star war. So it's kind of difficult to choose which one I wanted to show, but I hadn't shown him a true max attack yet, and Clack, Clack uh, comes through and shows. So I believe he goes in around like the 10 o'clock side here. Um, yep, there goes his golem. He's going to go with the shattered entry. Should be bringing a golem in that CC. Yep, there it is. Uh, going to create his funnel. Really wants to get a couple whiz right on that gold storage right away because that could be a problem. A few more whiz. Going to create the, the funnel on that side. A couple wall breakers in. Going to let stuff in. He's going to send in. The golems are going to reroute. And then he's going to send in his king slowly behind it. See the earthquake go down. It really opens up. One, two, three air defense. Two sweepers. And the defensive queen. Like that earthquake just gives insane value. So as soon as the CC troops come out, lock onto the golems. King goes in. Very standard issue. 
Queen standing under rage is taking out all these defenses now. Uh, the CC troops are under poison, so they're not doing too much damage to the golems, which is a good thing because the queen kind of got held up on that crossbow. But they're going down now. See you later, dragon. All right, so his kill squad's done their job. He's already sent in a lava hound across the whole map here because it's really just gonna go tick and then tack to the one to the to the other one and then tow with the balloons. Spreading the balloons out two per defense, right, on the outside here, guys. Um, I know a lot of uh, newer guys that I watch try and do these attacks will sort of just spam their balloons. You can't do that, guys. You really need to target those balloons on the defenses. Because if you get a huge, you know, you spam balloons around this outside and they're all going to the same couple defenses, you'll get this insanely large clump of balloons that just is setting yourself up for a disaster you know a well set red balloon bombs or a, a you know a wizard tower even if uh, you, you don't path to it right away or you don't see the pathing uh that can really screw you so guys spread out your balloons two maybe three per defense on the outside and you'll have much better results like click clack here three stars buddy good job all right, uh, let's drop right down here to the bottom of our map, and not quite the bottom. Uh, I want to show one of Craze's attacks because he's just a monster, and he brings a bit different style of attack here. It's kind of a max attack with earthquakes, but he, instead, he, instead of a rage, he brings a heal. Also, he brings a queen walk on top of it, and he doesn't bring balloons. He brings hogs, and he brings a Valk. <laughs> So, <laughs> Craze doesn't follow the rules. When people say, here's an attack style, Craze make, takes that attack style and says, I can do better. This is my attack style. So, this is like a queen walk, max attack with hogs and double heal. <laughs> and I can't even really call it a max attack because he saved the heal for his hogs. He doesn't use the spells on his kill squad. So, Craze, just bringing the heat here. He broke this down and just walked all over this base really you see he's opened up the 12 o'clock position the golems are now in king's going in behind that one valk is in there somewhere doing work unless it, i think it just went down now but awesome i think he brought it to help take down that town hall and those high hit point buildings there so he could get the king into the core here king's in the core defensive queen is locked onto now she is dead in one hit there she is this queen is still doing work on the queen walk. So really, he's only got, you know, a small chunk of this base for these hogs to go through. So he sent them in on this side, and they've kind of started pathing now. They're going to path around this base. He's dropped the heal for them. They've been okay to this point. He's going to drop another heal for them. Boom, boom. They do hit a double giant bomb here, but he got a very nice split on them. And they didn't. it didn't kill many of his hogs. It killed a few of them. Um, but honestly, Craze... Just read this base beautifully. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it was a cleanup, but those two G DGBs so close together, and you still decided to come in so far away from it, just is is awesome to me. So, uh, craze killing it. Some of you 2.0 guys just blow me away with how you break these bases down. Very impressed. And that is a three star. Oh, just gotta kill these pups first. <laughs> and that is three. Killing craze. All right, so definitely, definitely some nice attacks. Uh, again, like I had mentioned in the uh, the live with one hive with Sparta, it's you'd rather have these wars because at least you know the bases are going to be legitimate and your bases defensively are going to clearly get tested and any little things that are wrong with your base design are definitely going to get exploited there's no doubt about that so you do learn a lot about how much you know about building you know the quote unquote perfect defensive base and you do still get uh you know some legitimate bases to attack so uh, these wars are good in a sense that they really help prepare you for the arranged wars um unfortunately you know um you never, never like taking the loss, no matter what the situation is. Uh, however, uh, some good content uh, on the horizon, as always. Um, 2.0 has some has some big plans coming up, so I will be able to fill you guys in on that stuff uh, when the time is right. And until then, that's pretty much your wisdom from Wiser here. Uh, hoping to help you guys get that next three-star. I'm out.